In his recent reply, Lamola says in terms of the law, it is the responsibility of the South African police services to draw DNA samples and capture them in the national database. He says all scheduled eight offenders were in the correctional centers and not registered between 2013 and 2016 were referred to the cells for testing. Gauteng has the highest number of convicted criminals who were not registered, followed by KwaZulu-Natal and Pumalanga. The DA says this means there are many former prisoners who are roaming the streets without their identities being linked to the crimes they have committed. A draft bill has been sitting in cabinet since 2017 which would correct this issue and allow SAPs to compel violent offenders to submit their DNA to the database. Yet this draft bill is sitting in cabinet and has been sitting in cabinet for four years while violent offenders have been released onto our streets with no way of tracking them to previous crime scenes or future crimes that they may commit and to ensure longer sentences. Speaking during the plenary to consider the appointment of the DNA board in parliament, chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Police, Tina Jumat Peterson, criticized the failure by the police to capture DNA samples of the offenders. Meanwhile, parliament has agreed to the appointment of the board of the National Forensic Oversight Ethics Police Minister Peggy Tele is expected to appoint the DNA board and report to Parliament within 14 days of its appointment. Bulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.